<laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah, none of that happened. It's fine. This is our first location we chose. <laughs> Um, it is just like uh, the best feeling um, playing something that you like spent so long working on and like grinding with your boys on this music and like just like spending all that time writing the music and then be able to play for people and have them like enjoy it and see them like know the songs uh, it like makes it all feel like that it was all worth it and like it's just it's a very very good the best feeling in the world really so um i was always just like a really happy kid uh and just would like be hiking in the woods and like playing sports and shit before i did music um just always exploring and stuff i was like uh I would say it's just like that, uh, like exploration of like just wanting to like go out there and see stuff. And that's like what touring is, is, going around and checking out new cities and different areas and stuff. Because uh, most of the time you're pulling up to the venue hours before the doors even open. So I, we are always just like walking around and checking stuff out, uh, essentially hiking around. Uh, I really like Seattle. Uh, I love like the Pacific Northwest. I really vibe with that area. And seeing the mountains in the distance and stuff, it's very nice. Uh, Seattle or like Portland, both were awesome. Yeah, yeah, Colorado's sweet too. Uh, I just, I think Seattle and Portland get it because they're closer to the water. Uh, but I do, I do really like Denver. Um, I think it has made like a huge impact on my life. Uh, everything I've done my entire life has been playing music and playing metal. Uh, so like most of my friends I have are made through playing music and being in bands. So it's really had like a positive impact and it keeps you happy too. If you're doing something you love and you continue to do it, you're like, that just has a positive impact and on your like attitude and everything and so where do you think you'd be like, oof probably uh not uh not in a good spot probably <laughs> i mean who knows but it uh really like helps out a lot and it's i i couldn't imagine like life without it I'm sure I'd get into something, but... So, back to where we started. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say I've, I have a vivid memory of, uh, hearing Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath for the first time at like 3 a.m. at like a sleepover when I was like a little kid and it was scaring me and like getting goosebumps from it. Uh, and I uh, really liked that. And I think that was like a very early moment of being about metal and horror. What's Ozzy mean to you? 
Uh, I love Ozzy. I've always loved Ozzy. Uh, like, his solo stuff, Black, he's the best in Black Sabbath, and I, I've i always loved his, like, just his antics. And, you know, I, when I was younger, I'd always be watching, like, documentaries about just all that stuff and reading about it. And I used to have an Ozzy shirt that on the back had, uh, like, a bat flying away with Ozzy's head, like, decapitated on it. Uh, and it was one of my favorite shirts. Uh, so, Ozzy means a lot to me. <laughs> I don't think I did. Okay, no, I definitely didn't, though. I'll have to check it out. Hell yeah. Go! Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of things, <laughs> uh, like if you can like actually like afford to do it, uh, like are you going to be able to come back uh, from touring and be able to like pay your bills uh, and like also like will you have a job when you come back, like it helps a lot to be able to have a place that like you can uh, come back to work and like continue to like live if you're not making money on the death metal, which most people aren't. <laughs> uh, that, and then like another thing can be like relationships. Like if you got a girlfriend or something and she's not about like you being gone for five weeks at a time, that can like fuck up a lot of like personal life stuff. So that's something you need to take in consideration. Like what's what your situations are and like family and stuff you know what is made it, uh... um i have uh, a really cool boss that uh like really like loves that i like do this and thinks it's sweet that i like go out and tour uh so he's always about it um so that helps a lot uh being able to like do it and know that I have a job to come back to uh, and like having like a cool girlfriend that's about it thinks it's cool like she flew out to Por Portland to see us like halfway through the tour so that like uh, support system is uh, good and like helps make it happen. Got them both yeah and I get a, a month paid vacation for my job so like this story i've been getting paid the entire time so like i'm uh, yeah i'm like ah it's fine like i'm coming back with like normal like if i was working so that helps a lot too honestly <laughs> like a lot a lot a lot <laughs> um what gets me really excited is when I see like young kids at shows, um, which isn't exactly the evolution of music, but it is because those young kids are going to be the ones that are like uh, checking things out and starting new bands. And uh, I just love seeing it because I was once that like 16 year old kid, like really about like some obscure death metal band that like no one else cared about. And then they're like bigger bands now that like everybody cares about or whatever. So like, and I'm just like uh, excited. Uh, it's cool seeing like the like blends of genres that are kind of happening with there being so much music out there. You get start to get like really cool, like blends of like death metal and grindcore and everybody's still like, I'm, I'm hearing cool, like unique stuff all the time. So I don't think there's any like ceiling on any of that, of that type of stuff as far as the like expansion of extreme music. So just seeing what people come up with, you know?
like knowing that like any like bit of success that we have is like we like did it you know like we got ourselves to this point by like essentially like doing it ourselves uh so it's just makes it that much reward more rewarding knowing that you were like busting your ass for it uh getting a little bit of uh no, like, just be able to do cool things like tour with Revocation, Chris, and Alluvial, and doing sick tours. Uh, it's awesome. They're very rewarding.